Morgan with Eye Health 2, visiting with Dr. Rappaport. Dr. Rappaport, we're talking about ATP, and there, could you tell me why there are a small number of people who do not seem to respond to ATP? Right. Well, that's a very good question. It goes well beyond ATP. It's what's called personalized medicine. When ATP interacts with the receptor protein, the receptor is on the plasma membrane of a cell facing to the outside. However, if there is a one amino acid change mm -hmm. that is the result of a one base change in the gene that encodes for a particular receptor, the interaction with ATP could be either weaker or stronger. Now, the interaction with ATP or adenosine brings about a change, let's say if this is the receptor molecule, brings about a change in the conformation of the receptor. This change brings in turn a change inside the cell, which affects the function of the cell, for instance, the synthesis of NO, for instance. Uh -huh. Now, these particular changes in one nucleotide are called single nucleotide polymorphism, or SNP. They are normal, but they affect the activity of these proteins dramatically. And let me, let me give you an example Good. to illustrate this. People have observed that uh, in families, there are families that uh, sleep better, that they, they sleep longer, the quality of sleep is better. Mm -hmm. And since it has been discovered recently that adenosine plays the major role in sleep, That's right, people have that. looked into the structure of an enzyme that catalyzes the, this, the, the removal of adenosine. It's called adenosine deaminase. And they found that there is a single nucleotide polymorphism, that there is a common change in the enzyme whereby a single base is changed, thus changing the activity of the whole protein. And adenosine deaminase then becomes weaker. It becomes, it's not as active. Namely, there is more adenosine that's left. If the enzyme that catalyzes its removal uh. is weaker, then the, there is more adenosine left. This acts in the brain. Now, they found, the major study have found recruited people who sleep better, and they found, number one, that it's in families, mm -hmm. and number two, that it's related directly to this single nucleotide polymorphism. That the, the more adenosine there is because of this change in the base, Genes, you, genes code for proteins, and if you have a change, and they, 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 they code their codons, each three bases code for an amino acid in a protein. Now, if there is a change in a base, that would change an amino acid, and that would affect the interaction with ATP or adenosine. Okay. And that would bring about a change in the function or in the activity of these compounds. So that would explain why a small number of people would not that be affected? That is correct. That is correct. For instance, it is known today that uh, methotrexate, which is the first line of defense in rheumatoid arthritis, this mm -hmm. is the first drug that's given, has, is oh. active only in about 40% of the patients. Okay. And it has been discovered, again, along the same lines, that the reason that is not active in the other 60% is because of single, polynucle single nucleotide polymorphism. In other words, the target of methotrexate is different a little bit, and it's not as active as usual. It's not as active as usual. Right, and that's why it's called personalized medicine. In other words, people envision that in the future you will be able to look at the target protein of a particular nutraceutical or drug and determine whether it has this particular, poly, particular polymorphism and then decide whether this person would respond or not. Oh, very good, very good. Well, thank you, Dr. Rappaport. We'll meet again.